Okay, so it's Friday of the Keigo Higashi no Thon and basically I started filming today and also it's like Friday evening. <laughs> I just started filming today because I still don't really have any possibility to take videos with my phone. Yeah, maybe I'll talk a bit about what happened until now this week. So also I couldn't really like read in the first few days. So on Monday I read like two pages. Like, I know I'm the one hosting this readathon, but on Monday there was a bunch to do. <laughs> so I had an exam on Monday uh, around like 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. And the thing is that this was my Japanese exam and from last semester, from the third semester. And while I was studying a bunch and I had like great experiences studying and I was like, oh yeah, like I, I can do this. Somehow the level of this test was extremely hard in comparison to the last two semesters. And then next to that on Monday I had an interview for a radio entry I needed to hand in on Wednesday. So and next to that I needed to text a bunch of people because on Monday that was my first interview and I actually need two. So I read two pages of the one book I wanted to read fully on Monday. And then on Tuesday I woke up and then I got phoned by someone I asked for an interview for but then I talked to him and he was like, yeah, so he isn't sure if he's the right person. And the one I already talked to, he think is like the most professional on the topic I want to talk about. So we came to the agreement not to do the interview, but he told me quite a few interesting things in the five minutes we talked on the phone. So I took a few notes on them. And then my instructor was like, yeah, but you still need an interview, a second one. Why didn't you just take this interview? And I was like, he was so unsure about it. And it made me unsure. And my instructor was like, yeah, just talk to the other guy from this morning and it'll be fine. You'll get an interview with him and you have two voices. And I was still at my boyfriend's place and I was like debating to call him from there. But then I was like, if he wants to do the interview directly, I want to be at my desk at home. So I went home and I must say before I went home, I had like a mental breakdown because I was so stressed out. I I studied the whole weekend, I did so much for that radio entry, texting so many people and nothing was happening and I needed to like do the interviews, write a script, record that thing and cut it until Wednesday 4pm. But then I went home while I was listening to my comfort audio plays from my childhood like the three investigators I think I introduced them before. I actually got a call while I was on the bus and while I was on the call it came out that this person on the call was actually a student from the book art department of that university and he was ready to do an interview with me on that day so the whole stress in the, on that morning was totally for nothing. But the rest of this day, I was taking that interview, waiting for the audio of that interview to get sent to me by him and writing a script. I went to sleep at 11 p.m. totally dead. On that day, I read a total of 12 pages, I think. On Wednesday morning, I got up, I recorded, and then I needed to cut and I realized that my radio entry was 40 seconds too long, which is quite a lot. What happened was basically I shortened it to 4 minutes and 8 seconds, which was 8 seconds above what it actually should be and was praying that they would put it in there and I didn't get any remark telling me otherwise or so, so probably it's okay. I think I read about 30 pages, but yesterday I therefore read 100 pages and today I read 40 pages and I'm finally done with Mord am See by Keiko Higashino and it's actually pretty good. 
I would say it's not as good as many other thrillers I read by him and I'm not sure where the problem is. Maybe it is like at the start I think it was really interesting because we do not have any detectives in here. So this is not about solving a crime or it's kind of about solving a crime but not in the usual kind of way so at the end actually like you know what happened but you don't know if the police ever actually starts to even research the case so then today I read the first 80 pages of the German version of Malice. Malice is the book club pick of the Japanese mystery book club I'm also hosting together with two other nice people from Bookstagram and we're discussing this book on their discord so Server. and I like it so far. First of all, the start kind of remembers me on the start of the Tokyo Zodiac murders where I'm not sure which book of these bows was out first but the basic idea that the thing you first read might not be the actual truth and well on the one hand I think it's really interesting how he's working with us and also that he isn't changing like perspectives every few chapters but also like just every few bigger chapters so he's changing perspectives I think about nine times in this book but only between two people which is really unusual for Keigo Higashini so in most books I read by him so far are usually written from many different perspectives. Yeah I'm also only 80 pages in and basically we know who did it again but we still don't know how he did it like fully. We just got to learn one trick by now and I think it's interesting so I actually like want to read further before now picking up the next book but I need to wait till tomorrow to read the next three bigger chapters and then need to wait till Sunday to finish the book so and then I brought these three other books I still have on my TBR which I haven't read yet with me so there's the two English ones Newcomer and the name of the game is a kidnapping and then we have Ich habe ihn getötet. I'll probably first read Ich habe ihn getötet, which is from the publishing date, the next one I have from the Kaga series, then probably reading Newcomer, which is the next from the Kaga series, and then I still have left The Game of the Name is a Kidnapping. After midnight now and I'm 140 pages into the book which isn't too much but it's nearly half of the book and I'm not really able to concentrate anymore so I'll probably sleep for a bit but maybe I'll finish the chapter because it's really really interesting I must confess this one is really interesting again so the start was maybe let's say not slow but while at the back it says like there is the screenwriter and he's killed on the day of his wedding and there's three people confessing the crime and I'm a 
page 140 and I'm just like in the chapter where the second person is confessing the crime so the crime just happened at page like 120 and beforehand we got to know all the characters and obviously like how it happens with Keigo Higashi knows works quite often. Get to know the reasons why that person that's killed actually is being killed for probably because usually he always shows us what of an asshole the people getting killed is. And it's the same in this one and this one is, oh, is really scandalous in more than one ways. So yeah. It's really interesting so far. Maybe reading a little bit further but then giving my eyes a small break. Okay, so good morning. After I said I'm going to sleep for a bit, I slept for six hours. So I'm up for or I'm reading for about two and a half hours. I read 100 pages so far today so I have about 90 pages of this book left and it's really good so far. The only thing that I have with this book again and I feel like this is happening so often in descriptions of Japanese mystery books like in German as well in English. If I read the description, the description is always giving you a different feeling about the book, not even just like for mystery books I guess. I had like books that I weighted lower because I was expecting something different. And in this way it's again like they are telling you that basically three people confessed the crime and you're thinking like they confessed to the police. That's usually what you understand under confession, right? But that's not what happened. So this book is jumping between three perspectives told from like I did something. So directly from their perspective, which is also pretty unusual. Like I had that kind of translation in S and Malice as well. And I would like to look into the Japanese original later. The thing is that as it is told from directly their perspective and their mind of view, the interesting kind of thing is that first of all it's extremely confusing because every few pages, like every 10 to 30 pages, you jump into somebody else telling you from the same perspective and you're like... <laughs> always need to think okay wait whose perfect perspective am i reading from right now because you always need to like switch positions in your head kind of and like because we're reading from their perspective their confession isn't to the police but their confession is more like just to us as a reader because we are um, reading what they're thinking. And I like it, it's interesting because Keiko Higashi often plays with your mind on that one and I think that's really interesting. Yeah, but it's kind of different from what it says on the back, which like I don't mind because it looks like it's Honkaku Mystery, which is pretty typical for, first of all, many Japanese literature or many Japanese mysteries, at least the ones I'm reading, and also pretty typical for Keiko Higashi as well. Yeah, so I think what I'm going to do now that if the bath is free right now, I'm going to take a bath and do a bit of reading while I'm taking my bath. I obviously just got out of the shower or like out of the bathtub and I read the whole rest of the official book from Keigo Higashi no for him so Ich habe ihn getötet and I don't know who the murderer is so basically I honestly am not sure who it is. So basically everyone kind of got to officially confess how they thought they murdered him and I still don't know who did it. So I read 344 pages and what happened in the end that there is this small piece of paper telling me how it was done and directly at the end the detective detective kaga is giving you the last hint you officially need to solve the crime and 
I thought about it while I was showering and washing my hair, going to my room and like dressing up a bit and I don't know for sure how the murderer did it so this part this last part is not written by Keigo Higashi no this how it was done was written by a professor and this professor is also a Japanese mystery writer so we'll see how he thinks this all was done so oh, this is ugly I might need to cut the pages down with a proper page cutter later, so it doesn't look as ugly. But this is amazingly done. I think it's so so much fun. So maybe let's just record also my last reaction to how it was done. I'm so excited to finish this book. Okay, so first of all, I'm not sure this this was written really funny. So basically, it's more about the assistant going to this professor and the assistant is the person who needs to describe to them what happened in this book and he's like, I don't know how it happened, professor please help me. And they are actually like telling you the pages on every hint that was given and put them together. And there was this one situation and while showering I totally forgot it. But actually a bit earlier while reading I knew who did it and I knew how that person did it. Though I forgot it in the end. Probably because I read 344 pages in like two goes. I'm pretty like happy with it and also like it was written really funny and they still like don't say a name at the end this is amazing and I would really recommend it also what's really funny I want to mention that the professor is actually telling him so what's the difference between this book to his other books the assistant was like uh basically at the end the murder isn't isn't like announced and he was like yeah obviously but what the others are different. And the other different they are hinting on and what they are talking about in the start is basically what I also mentioned, what I realized, and this professor also knows Keigo Higashino's works, is basically that it's extremely untypical for him to write in first person. I'm really impressed by this book. This is probably a four and a half, maybe even a five stars. And now we have it uh, six minutes after 12. So I'm hungry. I'm probably going to eat some rest of the pizza from yesterday evening and then I'm going to get my 110 pages further into Malice. Okay, so small update. It's 20 minutes before 6 p.m. I'm doing wife reading sprints on my Instagram at 6 p.m. So I want to do a small update beforehand. I didn't read a lot on Malice so far of the pages I needed to read today so from the 110 pages I read about 60 so far and I'm really interested because I'm now at the part where the actual confession is going on why it happened and I'm only like at now it's less than 100 pages left but it's a bit weird because that confession is basically what we're working on for but I think this probably more of a thrillery novel and like really like also going into the novel kind of thing so we're not just like working to get to know the reasoning and why what happened but probably also to get to know the persons but in a different order than you usually do at least that's what i'm currently expecting to be honest maybe 
this confession is also again different from what he his actual reasoning was like the first part of the book was what i think it's interesting is that so this is one of the books of the three books i have from the kaga series um to read and i think it's interesting in that aspect that both of these have partly similar topics in there as well so we have talked about possible in the other case it was definitely and here so far it's possible suicide and in both for some reason Keiko Higashi no killed a cat I'll go live in nine minutes so reading more on that one it's actually Sunday morning 10 30 already I went to sleep like 2 15 2 30 so what I did so far is that when I woke up around 9 30 then I picked up Malice and I'm immediately done there's only the la last part left yeah so I I think the last time I sat in front of the camera and talked about it I was still in the actual confession written by the murderer and now it seems that the detective isn't believing fully now he's checking the past and the background of the murderer and the victim I'm going to read the actual conclusion now and see how it goes so I have about 18 pages left You saw me reading the last chapter except for the last two pages and I must say I love this book until exactly that point and then the ending was like I kind of understand what he's going for it's just like not what I like so usually you read a book to come to a conclusion but this was so unsatisfying I still loved the writing I loved like the tricks and everything and then there came the conclusion I was like are you kidding me and that's one of the first books as well when i'm thinking about it where i'm not able to understand usually you understand the murderer so that's what usually keiko higashi knows going for but in this one he's basically playing with you which i think is really interesting from a writing point of view kind of but i just didn't like the actual ending so i'm honestly not sure how to wait malice because it was amazing until the end and the conclusion came my problem is that except for two pages this book was amazing but the whole book worked onto these two pages probably i should give it a four stars we have tuesday now and this is my last wrap up and i'm honest with you i did not read newcomer so i read two books on the weekend completely and one book from monday to friday morning i think so i read malice i read 
Mord am See and I read Ich habe ihn getötet. From my own bingo card on Instagram, I can wonderfully tick off one of the nine boxes. And then we had Newcomer, which you like can see my bookmark in. And the game of the name is a kidnapping. And I'll definitely read them in I guess the next months or something, depending on like times and everything. What probably is not surprising is that my favorite book of this week was Ich habe ihn getötet. I really liked Ich habe ihn getötet, so I'll give this one probably 4.5 to 5 out of 5. Then for Mord am See, I would give this probably a 4 out of 5. I really liked it. The real ending was kind of cute for me. And I think it's interesting and um, it's made interestingly, especially because you have no police detective and like no police situation going on in this book. It's basically just a close group of friends, I would say. Then the last book, Malice. So in the end I decided to give Malice uh, 4 stars out of 5. Yeah, what I also think really interesting um, for some research I did beforehand is that Keigo Higashino, unlike most of his work um, and many of his works, builds in knowledge she has from university. So he studied electrical engineering and yeah I think it's really interesting because he often puts people who have like physical knowledge and engineering knowledge into his books like for example physics professor Yukawa who is a detective Galileo in the Galileo series. I'm gonna say bye for today and we see us in my next video and we'll see what kind of video it will be.